Hi Floss Tube and welcome back to my channel. This is now my third Floss Tube. I'm kind of proud of myself. I don't always stick with everything, but um, at least the videos are kind of easy. At least the way I'm doing it, because I'm not editing them. Um, unfortunately, this is not the third time I've had to try and do this video. First time my kids were arguing off to the side and it was getting loud. And the second time I just had my uh, Walgreens call because my kids inhaler's in, so I have to go pick up that later. And hopefully nothing else is gonna happen. Should be good. Um, so before we get started, I wanna tell you, we kind of garden in, you can't do a whole lot of gardening in the summer here. So if you wanna grow anything, it has to be more of a tropical thing. And we have pineapples. So we kind of have pineapples all, you know, here, there, around the house, around trees and stuff like that. Well, one of our pineapples gave us a pineapple. Um, and my husband came in laughing the other day with this pineapple because it's tiny. It's ridiculously <laughs> And I got a kid popping in now. I'm going to leave that in. Stick your tongue in. You look like a frog. I couldn't get my other one to come and pop in, but I'm just going to Dr. Pepper can in comparison with my tiny little pineapple. It's adorable. Um, we're actually going to eat it, and it's completely ripe. This is as big as it's going to get. It's not getting any bigger. This is it, and it goes, and it smells like a pineapple. That's how you know it's ripe, because it smells like a pineapple, and you can smell it from, like, you know, a ways away. So our tiny little pineapple the size of my face it's it's heavy it's heavy for its size too but i just thought i'd show you guys that you can laugh at my tiny little pineapple it's i'm not sure why it ended up being this small um we had a we've had a very dry s summer and that's relatively speaking because in florida it rains all summer we don't have fall and winter and spring we have dry and okay and then hot and rainy so our rain, rainy season, it's not been rainy this summer at all. So maybe that's why it's so small. Um, usually this time of year, I have standing puddles up to my ankles from one end of our property to the other. And we have almost three acres. Um, we'll have like little islands that are dry, um, which are usually like around the house and around the barn out there where our goats are. And, but this year we haven't, we're still dry, knock on wood. This is the first time in probably a good six or seven years that we've had a dry summer. It's kind of nice. Mosquitoes aren't quite as bad as normal um the mud the mud here smells one once it gets really wet um because there's so much decaying vegetation and stuff everywhere it smells <laughs> it smells bad like you know it, when it rains in other places like oh that fresh smell rain smell no that doesn't happen here it just kind of smells bad um no matter what time of year it is it always kind of smells bad and it's not because we have a farm it's everywhere it doesn't matter where you are the ground just smells bad when, <laughs> when it gets rained on. So the whole summer kind of smells bad. But this year is kind of nice. Um, unfortunately, we have a whole lot of bad fire. Uh, the fire ants are really bad this year, though. So maybe they need to be flooded out. Um, oh, man. Put that way over there. Um, now for the cross-stitching. Oh, dude. I added my little stitch here. Um, I found them. So I do a little bit of diamond painting. I don't do a ton of it. Um but this is stitch i love stitch we're big disney nerds i like to call us we're a bunch of disney dorks we love disney we live in florida we live about an hour away from disney um we have passes that we probably won't before long now anyway since they're not letting us go um but i love stitch the character and he's adorable and since we're cross stitchers he's gonna sit here with us put him somewhere i probably did him over a year ago maybe about a year ago because I don't do a whole lot of diamond painting. I prefer cross-stitching. But he's my little dude. I like that one. So he's going to sit there over my left shoulder. Um, give us something else to look at. Oh, my kids. He added alien eyes. Those are supposed to be alien eyes. To make them look like an alien. But, um, so, still working on the stocking. I got quite a bit done. Even though I got really busy this week. Like, I had to clean out stalls. And we moved around chickens. My son's fair project, uh, his turkey died, unfortunately. It got foul pox, um, which is basically chicken pox for birds. And we thought it was going to live, but it didn't make it, unfortunately. So we had an extra pin, so we moved stuff around. It's been a busy week. It's been a hot week, too. It's like 110 out there today. Um, but I basically got about from here, I guess right up to about here, all this, and over, done. Um... I got to add the extra bird. So there's five of them on there. The other bird goes right there. And then the fifth bird goes down here somewhere. And that's on the next page. Um, 
So this side is pretty much done. I have to move, I have to move my hoop so I can finish it because this goes like maybe I think nine or ten more stitches this direction and then down. So th over here, this is the edge of the um, stocking. So the stocking goes from here to here. Um, but then obviously it goes down. It goes way down. So after I finish putting in this last bird, I then have to add all the snowflakes, which I guess that's what these are. And these guys are tedious because it's only, um, this one's one stitch. These guys are like four stitches for bigger ones, but they're all over the place. Um, they started irritating me one time and I just gave up and said, you know what, I'm just gonna put them in wherever I want. Uh, and that was right in here because it's like they want, like, I, I just got tired of counting. <laughs> I just got tired of counting. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm not counting these anymore. Just make sure it looks okay. But they're individual stitches. And so, like, these guys here, all the ones in this little quadrant, on the back, they're all carried over. But there are ones like this one. That one. Yeah, no, this one is carried. So there's ones like these and some of these ones that are out here that aren't carried and are just by themselves a single stitch. That's a pain. But... You do it anyways, because it's not like I'm ever going to do this again. Or at least this one again. Um, I did I did a couple more stripes of these, but you really kind of can't tell. And then once all that's done, um, I might be able to have this whole section here done by, um, by next week. And I'll probably have a good chunk of this done, too. I don't think I'll have the name on there yet, but maybe I will, maybe I won't. Depends on what's going on. I've been kind of lazy this week, too. Kind of tired. I mean, because I was going outside so much. Um, I haven't even folded my laundry yet. Everybody's just, I was like, go get your clean clothes out of the laundry. So, there you go. It's gotten pretty far. I'm going to stick you, oh, my chair. Stick this on the chair. Um, since that's really the only thing I wore, I worked on one other thing, but I'll show it later. Because um, it was a diamond painting. Um, since that's the only thing I worked on, I didn't have a whole lot to show you for that. I was, I'll go ahead and show you something that's probably... I would like to start this, but I haven't done it yet, but I kind of want to. And it's Summer Geisha by Joan Elliott. I love this one. Actually, I love a lot of what Joan Elliott does. I love the color, like all the colors in it, and it's just, and the faces in here on her that she does always look very nice. Um... Sometimes with like the Nora Corbett's and the Mirabilia's, their face is kind of, I feel like there's not a whole lot of detail in the face. And so it, it kind of is just a flat face, even though I do li I like all those designs. But this one, there's a lot more in the picture. You can see there's a lot more to the face. There's more, I guess, personality detail to the face. But I love this one. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Unfortunately, I can't really f find the fabric that this goes on. Um, I guess there's a place you can get it from over in Great Britain. I'm not, uh, I looked it up once a while ago, um, so I can't quite remember. It was too expensive to have it shipped here. Um, at least to me, <laughs> at least to me, it seemed kind of expensive. And it was like a $40 shipping fee or something. So I was like, yeah, no, I'll just find something here. And I did. I found this one. It's more of a pinky. It's a purple what color. I'm not sure what color it's going to come out on here. But it's kind of a purpley, a light lavender color um i already put it in the in the hoop um and i don't know why because i'm not sure where the center is oh what's here we go 28 count then the color is sprite lugana fabric it's a 17 by 26 inch piece but i got this i think i got this just off of one two three stitch and it's nice I really like this kind of purpley color. It should go fine, uh, go with it just fine. Also, when I bought this, I bought all the pieces that go to it, everything. I don't know why there's a piece of paper in there from the hoop. I don't know why that's in there. But it is. Now it's not. Um, but I even got the beads. I got... Um, I even put some of it on bobbins. I started doing that, but I didn't finish it all. I've had this one for probably more than a year. And I really should start because I really do love it. Oh, in the Krynik. I've never actually sh I've never actually stitched with Krynik before, so that should be interesting. I've heard it's kind of a, a pain. Um, but since I've never actually stitched with it, maybe I won't notice. <laughs> so, we'll see. And then... Can I have a popsicle? Yes, you can have a popsicle. He needs a popsicle. Um, everybody needs a popsicle in this weather. Um, so that was 
that I do have a little bit more stash than this, but I don't have a ton because um, it seems like I really gravitate towards more of the bigger projects, and I don't know why. They look really nice when they're finished, though, but they're huge. Let me put you down here like this. Clear stuff. Chill. Um, okay, so now I'm going to show you my diamond painting that I've been working on. I started working on this this week. Um, when I work on diamond paintings, I like to listen to YouTube videos or watch them on my desk that's in the office. And I stick this on my desk with the light pad underneath it. Um, and I just recently got into a whole bunch of crime mystery shows on YouTube. One of them's called uh, is it Scary Mysteries or Strange Mysteries. I think it's Scary Mysteries. It might be strange. I can't remember now. It's one or the other. And they go through a bunch of true crime stuff, like unsolved stuff, alien stuff, Bigfoot stuff, all kinds of stuff. So I sat there and listened to that for a while while I did this. It is a... I'm not sure you can see. Oh, good, you can. Okay. It's called the Crystal Skull. I think it's about half done. Diamond painting goes by very fast. But it's got these nice big jewels in here. And these are all what they call AB diamonds. So they shine. You can see it. It does really well in the sunlight. Um, it goes really quick. Like I said, I've only done this, I think I've worked on this like five or six nights. And I only worked on it for maybe an hour or so, maybe two each time. But I really like this. I got this at Joanne. I had one of those really good coupons for Joanne's. The, uh, I think it was $25 off of 75 So you had to spend 75 and you got 25 off. I can spend a lot of money in Joanne's. <laughs> I try not to go there very often. But it was there, and they actually had it on sale. I'd seen it before. I didn't get it, but I had my coupon, so I got it. Let's see that up. Um, let's see, I only have one other diamond painting that I've completed, and it's in the other room. It's a Christmas one. I'll probably bring it out for Christmas. I'll stick you down over here. Um, while I was at Joanne's, I decided to pick up somewhat of another hobby. I, I wouldn't say if it's... I don't know if I'll pick it up or not. We'll see. But it's... making felt things out of felt this lady suggests making like or having your felt being like a 50 50 blend of wool and acrylic i guess or something else they don't have that at that johan's they have just a straight up i think acrylic felt like this i got all these colors to go let's see i got mustard and dark green and light green and a white and red is that black is that brown it's black I got a gray, and a gray, and a cream. And they were cheap. I think they were only like 50 cents. Each one of these was like 50 cents or 75 cents. I don't know if it says. Um, there. But this is a thing on how to make all these little cute characters. Um, like this little owl. I don't think I'll make this owl because it's kind of big. I kind of like, I, I want to make some smaller stuff first. Um, I've seen other people who, like, I guess there's ki kits that you can get off of, um, some websites and stuff that ha are the nicer wool. And it shows in the beginning, or in the front here, it shows all the different stitches, too. Which is one of the re main reasons I got this. So it shows you all the stitches that you're going to need to do here and stuff. So you can learn that while you're in it. Um, but again, I had that coupon at Joanne's, so I bought it at Joanne's. Um. I kind of wanted to make these little, these little, oops, these little fish, and these little dudes. So, but I thought that would be interesting. Maybe I could teach my kids how to use uh, proper stitches and sew stuff. Um, though they both of them are in Boy Scouts, and they have, um, they did learn that during Boy Scouts. Um, I know because I kind of ran that lesson for the, for the den or for the. Uh, was it? Yeah, they're all called dens. Also wanted to do the chicken, so we could. Because I think that's kind of cute. I already know how to do um, French knots and stuff like that. I just thought it would be kind of neat to learn how to make neat things. Um, there's like a rabbit in here too somewhere. Um, oh, here it is. They have Christmas stuff. Oh, there's the rabbit. I wanted to make the rabbit. Right there. It's adorable. And you can do it in any color. So chickens and rabbits. I don't think they have a goat one in there, so I can't make one for my goats. Um... Also, while I was there, I got the <laughs> cross-stitch Halloween. Um, I have a couple of these. I think I have the 2016 and 17 one. I don't think I have 18 or last year's. Um, I don't have a single one of the Christmas ones either. And I like, 
uh, cross-stitching for Christmas. Imagine I should get that this year. This is fine. I wonder if this is going to show up backwards in um, on YouTube. I bet you it does. Oh, well, one of these days I'll probably get, like, a real camera. Um, so maybe not everything's going to be backwards <laughs> one day. Um, there's plenty of other people who did a, a flip through on this already. Uh, plus I'm probably not really good at not showing the, um, patterns either yet. Cause like I said, I'm on my phone, so it's kind of weird. Um, one of the things that we're planning on doing is kind of like starting a YouTube channel for our farm and what we do with our farm and stuff here in Florida. There's not a lot of people who do the homesteading farming stuff in Florida. Uh, cause it's not easy. So as I thought, it'd be kind of interesting to have that channel. So you guys are kind of the experiment for that while I learn how to play with uh, YouTube and stuff. I um, also got a little bit of other stuff this week because everybody's bringing out Halloween stuff. And I love Halloween. My birthday is October 17th. Um, so I've always, that's October's my birthday month. It's also the month that it starts cooling down here in Florida. So it's the month that you can go out and do stuff more. I do like to go outside and garden. Um, you just can't do it in the summer here. Um, I like vegetable gardening, flower gardening, all that stuff. You, you just can't really do it well here in the summer because nothing blooms in the summer because it's too hot. Um, because of the humidity and the rain, we have a lot of mold problems and diseases and bugs. But starting in October here, because I'm in central Florida, so it's a little different north and south of us. But I'm in central F Florida and I'm inland, so it gets hotter and colder here than it does in other parts of the state. So... October's the start of when it starts cooling off, and you can actually go outside without, you know, melting into a puddle of sweat just walking from your t from your house to your um, vehicle. Um, so you can go out and, you know, start your seeds. Actually, we're going to start seeds soon here for our fall garden. Um, like I said, it doesn't really, we don't really get fall. We just get hot and cold, or hot and not dying. Um, so October's my favorite month. I love Halloween. I love Thanksgiving and Christmas, too. That whole part of the year is great. It's also like our busiest times of the year. Uh, our county fair is in October. Our state fair is in February. Um, so we're always really busy with the animals those two months. We also have a lot of fairs or uh, fairs and shows in December and January and March. Um, so the, like all of our fun stuff is condensed into a few months here in Florida. Because any other time of the year you just die. It's just too hot, especially when you're showing animals, because we do show a lot of animals. It's really hard showing animals in the summer here. Um, and nobody looks their best in the summer either, because if Florida is summer, nobody looks good. Nobody looks good when they're sweating 90 gallons out of their forehead. Um, so that's kind of my favorite time of the year is coming up. Also, that means a lot of people are coming out with stuff. So I had to go to TJ Maxx because... I need to get my older son some school uniforms. Um, he goes to a private school, so they have uniforms. I need to get him uniforms. I went to TJ Maxx because they actually had them on sale for, like, the shirts for five bucks. So I got him a few. Um, but they also had some of their Halloween stuff out. And I got a Halloween cup. It's a kitty. I was not necessarily Halloween. It's the, the, the Day of the Dead, which is um, November 1st. It's the day after. You know, I'm half Mexican, and you'd think I'd know that since it is a, a more Mexican holiday. But I thought this was adorable. I got a little painted face. Is that his tongue? I think that's his tongue. I don't know. It's a cup. It's just, they're only five bucks at um, TJ Maxx. He's got a friend. Come here, friend. E. It's an owl. It's an owl. I like owls. It's really pretty. I just like the word nice. Um, I don't drink coffee. I'm more of a soda drink a drinker, and I will occasion occasionally drink um, tea, herbal teas, which is funny enough. I actually, and this was just sitting on the kitchen table. I got a book on making my own <laughs> um, herbal teas. I haven't really looked through this a ton yet, but it has all kinds of recipes and ideas and stuff like that. And I was like, that's cool because I do when I do grow a garden. It's I get a lot of stuff. I grow a lot of herbs. Um, some of them tend to, tend to get either, uh, dehydrated or I toss some of them sometimes. Or I let my animals eat them because I'll eat them too. So I put Mr. Cup over there. And I also got, this is my first ever piece of Ray Dunn. 
And this is a Ray, Dun a Ray Dunn one. I've never, I don't like a whole lot of her stuff, but I do like, I liked her Halloween stuff. I saw somebody on um, YouTube do a Ray Dunn haul for Halloween. I was like, man, I really do like some of her Halloween and Christmas stuff, but like her normal stuff, I'm not, uh, it's not, I'm not overly thrilled with it, but I do like her Halloween stuff. With this orange and, e. It's a sealed top, so you can put your dog treat. You actually put your dog treats in here and not have to smell them while they're on your kitchen uh, counter, which is nice. This is bigger than the treat ca uh, treat canister I have already. It's like the same thickness around, but it's like half the size. Uh, so it goes and it seals. That's kind of nice. Isn't that pretty? My dogs don't do tricks because they're old. So one of them's uh pretty. <laughs> he doesn't hear very well. He's a white schnauzer. He's old. It's just him now. <laughs> he's just he just doesn't listen. And never he, he never listened really well to begin with. But he's a uh, he doesn't have to do tricks for his dog treats because I don't think he can hear us. Um, let's see. I think that was pretty much everything for this week. I try. I'm going to try and keep um, the cross stitch stuff to the beginning and any of the other stuff kind of towards the end in case you don't want to watch that. Um, so I don't think I have anything else. I'm going to try and make one of these felt guys this week. I think I'm going to make me a gray bunny. A gray bunny with a cream bottom. And a gray bunny with a cream bottom. I might be able to get my uh, middle kid to help me because he, he likes crafty stuff too. He's my kid who will make who makes incredible... Even though he's he's eight, but since he's been three about three years old, he loves Legos. And the stuff he can make for Legos by just looking at the directions, even before he could read, was kind of amazing. So we always just let him play with all the Legos he wants. Uh, downside of that, there's Legos all over this house. I think I probably have like two or three tubs full of Legos. And those aren't the ones that he decided to keep together and up on display in my kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> I have Legos on display in my kitchen. Um, so we have a lot of Legos. A lot of Legos. Um, at least they never get bored. But I think that's everything. Can't think of anything else. Thanks for actually watching. I've gotten a lot of survivors, uh, subscribers. I think I'm up to 23 or 24 now, which is kind of awesome. Thanks. <laughs> and thanks for anybody who actually uh, hits the like button and comments. That's great. Hit the like button. I think that's here. Is it here? I think it's here. Or it's over here. I don't know. Um, everything's going to be off. Oh, and hockey season started. Tampa Bay Lightning. My husband's very excited. We like to watch hockey. So that's the other thing that happened this week. Hockey started. Yay. Can't go to the game, but we go to a couple games a year. And I can't think of anything else now. Oh, well. I guess I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.